Wright says, what route would you recommend for a cloud engineer uh, with previous DBA experience? Durian, that is a fantastic, a fantastic question. And we're going to get to a cloud engineer. We're going to get to the cloud engineer because Google is pushing uh, the cloud engineer route and they are going to be making a lot of money. But I would say this, you want to become a cloud engineer. You want to go with the certifications, especially around the Google area. Otherwise you can go, uh, down the AWS route. But I would say right now Google's pushing and they're going to be bumping their salaries up. We're going to be talking about Google pretty soon, brother. Uh, JP says, which in my careers give you the best lifestyle for family with the best salary working 60, 80 hours a week and constantly getting new it search to stay relevant as you get older isn't for everyone. And I can say this, uh, JP, you don't have to work 60, 80 hours a week. I mean, like, that's just not what you have to do. You should do that to get on your grind now to make a lot of money. But what I would say is this, the MIS careers, and, and, and I, I want to make this clear because there's no specific career that you're going to have that's going to make you work harder or make you work less right? It's really up to you. It's really subjective on how hard you work in any career. As a software engineer, I worked a lot. I traveled a lot, but that doesn't mean as a business analyst, I won't work hard or work a lot. If I went down that route, there were probably projects that I would have been on that I would have been having to work 80 hours a week, you know, hundred hours a week, every once in a while, right? That's not sustainable over time. So it's really up to you. It's going to be subjective. You want to make sure that you're with the right company. You're working for the right manager and so forth, right? I personally uh, don't work 60, 80 hours a week anymore because I'm not in those sort of roles. Now, there will be weeks where I work 60 because I'm in sales because I'm trying to get something done. But that's rare. That's very, very rare. So the types of roles that you want to get to or your career is from an MIS perspective, it's very subjective. It's very subjective, JP. Um, but what I would say is this, a business system analyst is a good road to go down because you're going to be, you know, touching tech, but you're not going to be on the super hard techie side, sir. So I would say that one is a good place. Also, project management is another one too, JP. King says, big homie, please break down the cost of living with it. Man, King, that's a good question, right? It depends on where you are. In California, Texas and so forth, you got to really look at the cost of living. I'm in Texas right now. The cost of living is relatively expensive and so forth. But guys, I mean, like, you know, you have to look at the places where you are. And a lot of these roles as well, too, they are remote. They are remote. They are remote. We've learned that with the pandemic that you can be remote and work in a lot of these roles. The majority of people right now that I'm coaching from, um, uh, from Mr. Nix, all these guys are looking at remote jobs, guys. They're looking at remote jobs and they're able to, to demand high salaries working remote, staying in the places where they currently are. So the cost of living, uh, we can do a breakdown on that at some other time, uh, King. But I would say this, you know, the salaries, the salary is really going to dictate or the location is really going to dictate your salary. But a lot of these companies are paying you high salaries like this even though you are remote. So cost of living, uh, you have to do that based on where you are. Um, okay, Black Tech Old Head says, government, uh, governance, risk, and compliance are great tech roles that are not super technical that pay very well. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, engineering cannabis in fan companies, salaries can go up to 400 K for AI and big data roles. We're going to get to that engineering cannabis. We're going to get to that. We are going to get to that. Uh, blind guys, wife delights. I'm exclaiming with the sound effects that some of these salaries are directing our daughters into tech careers. The money is here to live the lifestyle you want. That's it. That's it. That's absolutely it. No limit. I appreciate you for the super chat. The 299. Thanks so much. Lemon character waving his arms to say hello with his mouth wide open. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you for the super chat. Okay, so let's do this. Let's jump back over here. If you want to have a lifestyle where you can travel, you want to have a lifestyle where you have a nice house, you want to have a lifestyle where you're able to invest, you want to have a lifestyle where you're able to uh, do things on the side, your passion, right? You want to make money. You want to make a lot of money. You want to make money to where you can put aside for your retirement and so forth. And tech is where it is. And that's the only way that you can get to a point where you are financial free, paying off your student debts, paying off your student loans, paying off your house, whatever it is, right? Whatever debts that you have, you want to make a high enough salary so that you can do that and to invest a lot of that money as well, too. And here's the thing. The only way that you can do that is by getting a high salary, which is what I push. That's that's what I push. Technology, the education behind it to get you there. 